No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. I'm with my man Flacco. Yo. And I mean, say what you will, but I just wanted to bring yeah. two of my most different <laughs> friends together on the podcast and have a chat and just see what we could do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. But you guys already been hanging out out in the lobby <laughs> for a while, right? Yeah. Have we established any common ground? We didn't hang out. You didn't hang out. No, I just think I told you I like uh, blue hair. Yeah. Well, that, that was kind of what made me think of it at first. But I, I figured, like you know, hair. there's got to be more similarities as well, right? Probably the blue hair. The blue shirt. I like blue shirts. <laughs> got blue jeans, yeah. Mm. I'm sure there's probably something more. We probably both like Mexican food or something. I like have blue food. eyes, as does he. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of... cake says blue contacts, eyes. Right. You're in blue. love. So things are going better in the relationship, every I understand. Day, all right. It's cool. I mean... The, it's better. You, Better. It was better because we, we had to edit some stuff out of the last podcast. Oh, yeah, it, was better. It, was, it was getting a little intense. Mm -hmm. I think better is just a relationship. You got to learn to grow and, and learn people more. Right. You know? mm -hmm. oh, sometimes, you know, go go hang in the hood with the homeboys because I don't just sit at home all day with her. Cause hood. You find me, go you know, hood, do different stuff. Uh huh. Don't, don't just sit around all day. On hood. Oh, so you were sitting around too much in those no, fucking sit relationship? Around, have that hardcore for all day, <laughs> tire out. Tire her out. <laughs> I mean, because he also loves, you know. I feel right, that so hardcore. You sometimes you just want to go in the hood and get away from your... Where, where is your hood? Because he's from 55th Street. I know. That's about the only thing my audience kept spamming is asking about 55th Street. So you talked about him on stream already. Well, because mm -hmm. I mentioned that, like, I think I'm going to be on a show with him. And my audience was like, check out this Channel 5 interview. Look at this. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I hate that that's the document, that my interviews apparently are not yeah. in-depth <laughs> enough for, like... But, but it's true, because, like, the Channel 5 one, I think, has, like, 8 million <laughs> views or something. So the the biggest interview that we ever did was like two million views. Right. So you know <laughs> you can't really compete with like a well edited vlog Who like was that. First though, definitely me. But then Andrew oh. Callahan took him to the Slipknot concert, Damn. and I mean that's yeah. that's some good content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what what were you saying before about well, Destiny? Yeah. So he actually proved to me that he was bisexual. Pause, no homo, right? You don't have to say that when you're talking about somebody else, right? Yeah. Well, I'm well, yeah, right? proving it to him. That sounds, yeah. like, that sounds a little yeah. homo, right? That, no, yeah, homo. yeah, yeah. I, it I, sounds I, like I, he took you I, in I the 55th that, Street homo. alley, yeah. <laughs> no, right. No. Listen, right. So, like, kind of ask him, right, bro, bro, listen, right? Because, like, here, because I, I thought for, like, like, the longest, right, that the bisexual blue hair thing was an act, right? Because we know about a thousand, like, hot chicks that he. Do we? Yes, a Who? thousand. Chill, chill. Go ahead. Uh, I, I know, yeah, like, like his girlfriend. No, well, that's the, that's it. Right. that I know of. All right, cool. Okay. All right, right. But yeah, like a thousand and hot chicks that and he smashed. But now it's kind of like we don't know. Now one dude come out and say, "Yo, I fuck that stuff." I know. I've I've kind of thought about that before. Right? I wonder like, if it was it, just it like a a principled bisexuality. Right. You know, you know what I mean? like, it wasn't like real. Probable, right? That like no dudes is coming out and saying, "Yo, oh, mm. you know," and I. I, I them, but there's like a thousand girls coming out and saying it. I feel like if I was bisexual, I'd be having dudes that I was on the podcast who could just talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah. I, if if I was, I don't think I would be hiding it. Uh, you don't get down like that. Cause... Not right now, but no, no, no you don't. You <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. It's crazy. What I'll a, take you that's to a wild that answer. And beat your ass. If you do that. Why would you beat my ass if I was bisexual? That's Custer. Yeah. But you you respect his way of life though, right? Why are you trying to get to the town? I'm on this side of the table, okay? Jesus, he's not gonna hit you. He's he understands that no, this is, we're bringing we're bringing together different sides of the culture, right? Five, okay. Okay. I mean, that's not my get out. I'm a hustler, right? Crap, that's not my get out. But he's not a gang member, so he can kind of do whatever, right? Well, that you know of. Ooh, mm. this is true. Oh God, I live, I live in Miami now, okay? Yeah, oh, so yeah, you're you're a zoe now. I didn't say anything. Okay. Okay. There's, saying, there's a lot of different games. I live so. in South Beach. It's a rough neighborhood. Okay. Is there's it? like a homeless guy down there. He shouted at me once when I was walking across the street. And what did you? He fucked you in the in the gym? <laughs> not yet. Not that time. He did, didn't he? Not that time. He waited. He waited a long time, didn't he? Uh, yeah. God damn. Oh god. Okay. But what, what did he say that made you think that he was? Yeah. Right. Look. Right. So look. So I, I gave him the bisexual like test. Right. Which is. Do you find Kefos hot? Because if you, hey, for example, right? Everybody watching this, right, you don't real, know what we're talking quick, about. Quick, Google uh, K E F F A L S. It's a trans, a trans oh, yeah. woman mm -hmm. streamer with a deal, right? I believe. Yeah, right. So 
he hates the fuck out of her, right? So if I and, uh, ask him, yo, listen, do you find Keffel's hot, right? And he says, oh, no, ew, gross, got a penis. Then, you know, then, like, now I know he's not really gay, right? But, you know, and he says, you know, that she was hot as fuck. Oh, my gosh, she's hot as fuck. So, you know. You exaggerate a little bit, but she's obviously attractive, right? Really? I, I don't never, know how that makes you gay. I, I never looked at her like that. Change the color of your hair now. Crips don't get down like that from my <laughs> side. That's a different kind change of blue. He's color. a Democrat. No, you can change that shit to brown or some other color. <laughs> brown. He's a Democrat. No blue it's hair. a different yeah. blue. No. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, that's true. This is the college Sick student name. blue. It's a college student blue. Yeah. yeah, he goes to colleges and he argues about Goes to college stuff. and gets fucked in the ass and tents. <laughs> Maybe I fuck My people in the ass. Man. I might be pitching, okay? Oh, he's yeah. fucking people in the Jesus. ass and tents. He does whatever. We don't know. He oh, keeps that part God. of his life kind of yeah, mysterious. Yeah, yeah. Why do you keep yeah, keep, keep Plausible that deniability. No so in the future, I can always be like, I'm not really gay. It was just for, you know, street Probably. credit. And now I'm... The street yeah. credit? What kind yeah. of street credit is that? The kind of streets... Have you been to Seattle? The streets are no, painted fucking the, rainbows, no, okay? No, no, <laughs> kind of I thought you had credit. been to Seattle. Damn. No, no, I ain't never been out there, okay? <laughs> no, just street Vegas. Street credit with the gang life uh, comes with putting in work on your enemies, fighting... Catching DPs, uh, put ons, putting motherfuckers off mm -hmm. on hustlers and the main part is attending different gang shit and putting in work. When your homeboys in my King Five Fingers voice, when they rest in peace. Uh -huh. That's street cred. I don't know what kind of street cred he's talking about. Well, let's see. We tweet at people. We make hit pieces on YouTube. What's wrong with a big booty, <laughs> beautiful sitch like Lily Cakes? What's wrong with her? Nothing. That's why I'm buying, not gay. Okay, you like Lily Cakes? Yeah, she seems like she a fine woman. She's a fat ass. Lily Cakes, show she's that like ass. She's a beautiful woman. Old, she don't want to like show it. She's shy now. Would you rather be with Lily Cakes or China Mac? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a real person here, okay? Oh, Chill, oh, damn. Oh, God, damn. I don't know if I'm getting tricked here as a trap question or. <laughs> not your, this isn't plug talk, right? I'm not about. I'm not no, signed no, up for no, some no. weird oh, shit at the end of this, am I? Jesus Christ. <laughs> China Mac's not hyped on being Vegas involved with that. God damn. Right. <laughs> no, wait for years. Yeah, but, you know. What, okay, so so Hurley or, or you know, Lady Cage? They both look like lovely people. Hmm. Mm. But on a purely sexual level, I would probably choose Flock. There's got didn't this guy just get out of jail? He's got all sorts of things to talk about. There's gotta be something more interesting. Well, we already did one episode. I agree though. We shouldn't hone in on his sex life the entire Jesus time, Christ. right? Just slap her in the face. God damn. <laughs> oh god damn. Wow. No, but okay, so that is interesting though, because he has all kinds of beef with people on the internet and like people make crazy accusations yep. about him and people make videos trying to expose him, but he mm. never resorts to violence. Which well, makes him a little different you, than you, like, if the you like boys, We don't like milk. You should fuck milk in his ass. How about that? He doesn't even know about milk. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. He's a white boy with long hair, looks like a sitch. Okay. You'll like him. Okay, my eyes are fine. Take right? him out, yeah. <laughs> Take him out. Take him out when he, you see him somewhere. He hangs out on the balcony. Yeah, you got to grab him out the balcony. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't even know what a balcony is. It's a, it's a balcony, but a crib version. Oh, okay, gosh. What a C. Yeah. He does a lot of yeah, that. Mr. Mr. Milk. He has a dedication to the color blue and to cripping that is really yeah, like. But you shouldn't wear blue anymore. Not that you met me. No, <laughs> that's not cool. But man, I feel like he could be. You wear pink. Or orange. <laughs> okay. I feel like I missed like four jokes there. Let's pivot a little. Oh, uh, orange. He doesn't. He has beef with a gang that wears orange. Oh, gotcha. My car is blue. I got a big blue car too. Okay. So. You, you got to turn it orange or pink. I like the color blue. Right? Put some rims on it. Pink rims, or orange rim. <laughs> okay. Um. So what, 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 what do you think is the most important stuff that we covered today now that we've kind of gotten our sexuality out of the way? Cold old English? Well, like he been in, well, he's been in a, a bunch of drama. Destiny has. Yes. I'm kind of out of the loop. I'm going to be totally honest. I went on a honeymoon for a month. I haven't watched a shitload of the Destiny VODs lately. I know you're snuggery. <laughs> she don't deny no food. Toss <laughs> her a burrito. Can I talk, Lily Case, I toss you a burrito? Catch you with your ass cheeks with that big old juicy black ass. <laughs> Oh, oh that's hey, perfect. Oh, it's, still, it's still wrapped. Did grow. you guys hit the BMW store and just uh, get fresh? Oh, um, I'm on my King Five Fingers program. Uh, Leave the case keeps me fresh. Now, when y'all see me in the hood, I, I, you know, I got my, my regular gang shit on. If I do interviews, here, here, here. If I do interviews, I want to... Don't, don't throw the salsa. Hey. Don't, don't, He's throwing the give salsa. Give it to me. I'll, I'll pass <laughs> it to him. Yeah. You better catch it with your ass cheeks, baby. I want to grab this salsa. Love you. I can yeah. just imagine this exploding all over the wall like Lil' Kelby's head. I to make sure she has some. Right. Try to make you snuggery. 
All right. We got you five of those, right? Oh, does anybody else you snuggery, sir? Even no, though you're okay. kind of strange, I'm I'll, I'll still I grab it, you some to eat. I'm good. I do feed the homeless of all strange motherfuckers. Well, I appreciate it, but... Hey, oh, hey look, listen, man. I'll what about you, Flacco? Okay? Yeah, you sure a big boy. You better, <laughs> yeah, hey, you yeah, better yeah, not yeah. stern down no meal. Well, I'll take it for sure, for sure. You feel me? Hey, man. Okay, why don't you grab some hot sauce with it? Yo, uh, oh, listen, listen, thank you, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's save that for after the pod, uh, just yeah. so we don't have to hear you shoveling food down your fucking <laughs> <throat> gullet. This shit is got nothing, right? What about cold old English? Would you like it? Oh, no. I don't drink, man. Yeah. Why oh. not? Oh. Yeah. Hint. See, I think you should drink because you are lacking in life experience, and you need to, like, get shit-faced so you can just talk about it. Yes. you never been drunk, right? No. So that means that like, every time on the podcast somebody talks about being drunk, which is a pretty common experience, you're kind of just in the dark. I'm out the blue. Yeah, right. So maybe- uh, Mike. Uh, Not your first shit. day here. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> so weed and drinking, and there may be shrooms too, because I feel like shrooms don't really count as a drug, right? Because shrooms kind of, you know, right? Depends how much you do. No, right? Like, because shrooms is more so like a herbal thing that makes sure you know. Here. Hallucinate, right? <laughs> it sounds like when girls say they're still virgins when they've been fucked in the ass. Ah! Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> I feel like if marijuana is a drug, shrooms are probably a drug, right? Question, though. Most you... women love to get fucked in the ass. Like yeah. Ninety-five percent of women love their ass. Ninety-five. You've been have... hanging out with a specialized clientele. I didn't know we were bringing research. <laughs> well, look, 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 look. Jesus. when you fuck a woman in the ass and she plays with her pussy and it's wet, she'll That's come out of research. Pussy. She has an <laughs> orgasm out of the world. Something real beautiful. Right. She busts her ass open while she plays with her pussy. Right. Oh, that's amazing. That's. Yeah. The... Do you fuck women in the ass? No, man, not yet. Not yet? Well, you need not, to try. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, but hopefully though soon, yeah, right? Yeah, you, you definitely soon. Yeah. Is, is soon, that bust haram? Bust our asshole right over Is anal sex cool in the eyes of God? No, no, no. Uh, that's haram for sure. Oh, but, you but can't you're do not that if you're, if you're a church man? You can't. Well, not church man. The other side. Okay, this is one of the things I wanted to sort out, though. You believe in God? I'm a nifty nickel, granny bear, and mama bear. Love Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you personally don't have I, any strong I, feelings? I would never say I don't love cuh. I live under, <coughs> I'm a Christian and not a Christian. But mama bear and granny bear, they are Christians. So that kind of makes you feel like you're a Christian. Well, I'm a Christian, if anything. I'm a crap. Mm -hmm. My religion is crap. It's blue. I'm right. hood. But I love mama bear and I love granny bear. I'm what would be your best argument to try to convince Crip Mac that there is no God? Something I don't know much about Christianity, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know what I'd even be debating against. Are you drinking coffee? I'm drinking hot chocolate, man. You like old English? No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. What about you, Adam? You're on your second one of the day? No, I don't drink fucking old English. God damn. <laughs> But everybody who comes through here, when they see the sixer of old English in our fridge, they, they all know that. They know it's just like a cup. Because nobody, 2023, nobody else drinks that. No, 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 big lowdown, uh, big whack wigs. Don't mm -hmm. hood, my big homeboys in the turf. Hey, there's some big homeboys drinking cup, especially big whack wigs. Shout out big whack wigs. Right, yeah, I mean, I don't doubt that in, don't the, hood, in the streets. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. It's still hood. going down. Hell yeah, old English on hood. The old English. And if you want to get it real nifty, you grab your old English, put a little shot of gin in there, cup. Boom! That's too nifty Explode. for me. That's real nifty. That's, That's too nifty. Oh, no, this. Okay, what, what what do you want to ask him? Yeah. So listen. So last night some heavy accusations came down. Ooh. From who? About I didn't what? know that. So Rolo, like he kind of like hinted towards he had proof that your well not alleged because we know that that it's capped now, right? But you know a, a female that like you've been linked to and he kind of hinted towards. You, you know, there's proof that he has that y'all had a sexual relationship and she got an abortion. Uh -huh. So what was your reaction to when you heard? Yeah, I said, if he thinks he has proof, we should just bet on it. I said, I give him five to one, any dollar amount, we can just bet on it. Is there any proof, though? Or, he or says not? he has it, right? So Listen. He said, he's got, he said he's got medical <clears throat> records. So he should just bet me the money. Yeah. He can put up 10K, I'll pay him what 50. What kind of medical right. records or what? So some guy is yeah. accusing me of knocking up some other streamer girl, kind of, mm. and says that she got an abortion. But, yeah. It's no, a you whole shouldn't get of... an abortion. Keep the baby. Okay. Why, the but baby. why is this even, like, an expose? Like It's a whole, because of the other person involved was relatively famous, and yeah. I'm relatively, oh. it's just like a whole. Should we say their name or no? <sighs> Natalie Portman? No, Laurie. Yes, Natalie Portman. <laughs> um, Good on you. Maybe. Yeah, yeah no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not it's trying to. It's a fame, rough fuck, gang bang. Yeah. yeah. 
That's what it is. Something like that, yeah. But yeah. why why would it be a big deal if you had had an abortion? Like, if I had sex with some girl and she had an abortion. Because the people involved are like all conservatives and stuff, so it's like a big oh, deal. Yeah. You fucking con- conservative women. Okay. That's where, tight. Wait, I never even <laughs> thought about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, he loves There's, conservative women. I love all <laughs> types of women, okay? Yeah. Would your girl be but, cool with it if you wanted to bang Lauren Southern? I, this is what this one is. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. That's uh, allegedly. It's all uh, rumors okay, and hearsay. Okay, okay. okay, okay yeah. Everybody keeps saying there was one rumor that was started a long time ago, and everybody okay. says they have proof of this rumor. But it's just repeating the same story over and over. Ah. And now Rolo has upped the ante, and he's saying not only do I know that these two fuck, I know that she got an abortion. <laughs> And he says he's got medical records. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll give you five to one on your money where you can bet whether you have medical records or not. You can publish it. I'll give you 50 grand. You give me 10 grand or one grand, five grand, whatever you want to do. Like, I'll give you big odds on it. Yeah. But it's, that's, it's like a whole internet world. But thing. didn't she come out previously and say she was, in, she was pro choice? I don't think pro choice, but she came out recently with a big thing about her ex husband and everything. And so, like, the theory is that, like, I broke their family up, basically, I think is. I'm into that. Is okay. that true? No. Oh, okay. Because I'm into it, like from a theatrical standpoint. Like, yeah, thank you. Well, good my content. life is very <laughs> theatrical. Yeah. What? He broke up a home. I mean, if he were to break up a conservative woman's home by giving well, her that good streaming dick. Well, hey, let's speak on this, right? Because Giles Zarka sort of like blew the whole, like the whole thing, 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 like open, right? You and him have been cool and not cool about 15 times. Yeah, since. I'm, I'm over him now. We're, yeah. A word? Yeah. I was talking with Flacco the other day, and I, I see how Flacco talks on different shit. Rocco, don't ever troll me. We're going to go in there. No, 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 hell no. Nah. I don't, I don't troll. You guys troll. You no, troll them? No, hell no. Nah, you do? said troll. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not Flacco. Okay, what, not happened Flacco. With, what happened with Zerka? John Zerka is a guy yeah, we know. He, yeah, he trolled me. No, 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 John Zucker, you don't know him yet. Yeah, he didn't troll me though, did he? No, no, no. Now look, right? So <laughs> now listen. So it's a lot of trolls in there. That shit's crazy. <laughs> now facts. And some people can't handle it. They would have killed themselves. So guess what? It's never commit suicide, motherfucker. And I put my nifty crip blue rag Woo! on my microphone because I'm here at no jump. Nah, that's a fact, man. Rocking oh, goddamn! Oh, that's a nice belly. Never commit hey! motherfucker suicide. Hey, oh, man. I was thinking, no, I, I actually want one of those. No, you, you definitely can. I definitely want one. I do it myself in China Mac and King Five. Fingers my own boy. Yeah. And you know Lupe. Oh, yeah. Capital her neighborhood, bro. I love oh, Lupe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lupe's going to make it happen, bro. Bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, 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 oh, we're, we're, never commit suicide, though. Here, point. right? Now, look, so uh, John Zerka sort of told his story to, I think it was Sneaker, right, where he says that Destiny... The Gigi Chad, he stole his his audiences. So okay, so there's a dude from his Jesus. audience who like right. So okay, so okay, so look, so spit it out. Yeah, look, so Destiny's wife Melina was dating his fan, right? And he stole Melina from one of his fans. That's like the short like summary of it. Wow, is that true? When you're in a relationship, you can't, and you're five minutes, you, and you're in a relationship, you mm-hmm. can't have sex with the fans. That was something when I was in prison. <laughs> it's an important lesson to learn. <laughs> she let me know that. No, but they're I saying said, they're yeah. saying that he had a fan, and oh. that this his wife. I feel like there's no way he cares about it. Well, okay, his his <laughs> wife was dating this fan, and then he swooped in and took her. Is this true? It, like twenty percent true. It was okay. a woman. It was going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that's usually who I'm with. He's yeah. married to a very attractive woman. Believe it or you're not, you're married to a woman, but you just. Uh, Get fucked in the ass by men and I didn't say or... I get fucked in the ass. Oh, you, well, you fucked There's in the ass. There's lots of gay shit you can do out there. There's not getting fucked in the ass or fucked in the ass, right? There's all sorts of other gay no, shit. No, no, all right. Well, 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 you fucking cut in the ass is the same thing, cuz. Okay. But it is a little different. No, it's not. I feel like the distinction is, is probably not appreciated. Fuck, is it gay if you fuck dudes in the ass, though? Yeah, it is. I think it's pretty it, it, gay, it, yeah. It, it, it go back and forth, no. cuz. It's all gay. On what, the what about time, in right? prison? Man, cuz look, I can have life in prison on Nate Foot Crip. I'm not gonna fuck no man. I don't get down like that. Right. Yeah. Tiny R head FIP. You know, that's, that's very true. Yeah. No, that's not my get down, hood. Huh? Give us a synopsis of how you ended Wait, up. Wait, can I ask down. a prison question about that? I'm actually yeah, super yeah, yeah, curious. Yeah. If you go in and there is like gay stuff that ends up happening, when people come out of that scenario, is that just like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, or yeah. do they come out and they're like bi or gay now? Like, how does you, that tell, work? you tell us, since you're the only one who's done prison. If people, time, if people are fucking around in prison, yeah, when I they come mean, out, yeah. You, if, if, if prison, it's, 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 if you show weakness, cut, they'll get you. You never show no fear. You don't fear nobody, and you fight hard. Win, lose, or draw. Mm-hmm. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting. That's why it's important to program time five. We'll get you on Coach Warren's fucking program. You meet Coach Warren. Oh, that's some motherfucker. He could work out hours. I remember it. it 
Me and Lily Case were friends. It was last year. I'm going to tell you the story. Oh, please do. Oh, <laughs> so we're working out. I'm working out with Coach Ward. Cut work me out so motherfucking hard. Pause. Oh, and I, I was done. We went we went back on oh, oh, hood, back by the spot on oh, hood. I, I put her out in the middle of the day. I was so mad because that workout had me so goddamn tired. I was pissed. Mm -hmm. I was pissed as a motherfucker. She talks about it every day. The workout. Shout out Coach Warren, program time five. That's Big Falcon Face. From 55th Street. I, I, I need that. that All right, out, well, you mack in with Coach Warren, program type five. Hey, yeah. he going to have you right on hood. Okay. Where he were definitely we? definitely going to have you right. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Shout Zerka pretty Warren. much told everybody, you know, about you taking that fans girl. Now, now, this is all public, by the way. This has all been yeah, public yeah, for a long yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, but let me, the, the actual story there? is that. Melina initially reached out to me through Instagram. We chatted for a bit. I went to New Zealand because um, I had like a sponsor thing to go travel somewhere. I went out there. I met her. I hung out. She was also dating two other guys at the time. You mm. um, bust her coochie and ass open. Not her ass. So we're <laughs> but you so you don't bust her ass open, but you decide you want to fuck men in the ass. You're thinking a lot about how, 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 guys how, in the ass. Okay? He's just talking how, about the initial. I feel like the people I talk to are more into my gayness than I am. Okay, I'm not that gay. I'm like five percent well, right, gay. Okay. Five percent. I'm no, like five percent no, gay. No, okay, you're fifty two percent. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Fifty two fucking percent gay. Wait, five percent gay? No, he's fifty two percent. Anyway, <laughs> so eventually, is that a reference? Do I need to know what 52 means? Don't worry about it. As long as I'm getting marked for deletion or something, all right? <laughs> no, it's, it's easy. Just a number. Just a number. Just a number. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, so eventually me and Melina start dating. She's still dating the other two guys, but then they kind of like fall out over time, basically. But I guess that's like the nature of like polyamorous relationships. So. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Now, though, like when, mm -hmm. okay, so when she was talking to Myron during Valuetainment, right? Mm hmm and like, like right listen cuz she said pretty much like she don't care about you know material things and, and Myron like kind of had that gotcha moment where like i guess people like seen it as 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 a gotcha gotcha moment right cuz you know he pretty much said how can you say you know say that you don't care about you know like money when you left your boyfriend who who like you know like who treated you well for you know like the you know like the big streamer guy. Okay. Like somebody charge this crypt blue phone up by me, cuz iPhone, yeah. iPhone 14 on hood. Lily yeah. cakes and mama bear, help me get it. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I saw uh, that and I was confused because to me it's like. I don't know if. Okay, let me. Yeah, you, you break I, it down. Is, I can never like talk about this because it always sounds okay. cope or lie or whatever, so, but yeah, like for weird. people that aren't in the weird fucking red pill world that have like uh -huh. real world experience, what yeah. I'm saying is obviously true. Could, if, let's say that your wife wants to spend more time with you, could you buy her some shit to like make her happy and not do that? No. Okay. I absolutely could never get away with that. No. The idea that Melina is only with me for money or that the money is like some... I, no, I don't want to say I wish it was like that, but my life would be so much easier if I could just like throw her some money, send her vacation, buy her some shit, and she's happy. That's absolutely not how our relationship works. Right. Um, and then the idea that like he's saying, oh, well, she really wanted a green card. Melina was in New Zealand, which was her dream country to be in. Mm -hmm. And part of a lot of the fighting we had in our first year of our relationship when she came over and realized how much I worked, part of it was her being like, I didn't know you worked so much. I wouldn't have left my dream country to be in shitty fucking Culver City uh, in, in fucking America where uh. she can't travel without a driver's license. Everything is expensive as fuck. Every place is super occupied. There's a million fucking people. Um, she doesn't like the people. Are, like So she got pulled out of her like dream area, which was New Zealand. She saved up for like three years to go travel there to come to America, which is not the place she wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And all the money in the world wasn't going to make her happy here. But would you say that you guys were so in love that that's what pushed her over the edge? That yes. she was like, yes, I'll yeah, live that somewhere that's not ideal but for me? People, yeah, of course, yeah. And even when we fight, like that's like usually the stuff that gets brought up. She's like, I gave up like my dream country that I can't go back, I can't get another visa back there to be with you, and now we're fighting, and blah, blah, blah. But people have this idea, like, oh, she came over just for the money and the green card. And I was like, if it was that easy to buy off, like, a good woman in a relationship, like, I would never have a fight in my life, because I've got, yeah, obviously money and green cards to spare, so. Yeah, right, but I feel like that's the base, right? Like, for example, like, she got with you probably because, you know, you're charming. I'm sure you're fucking good-looking, right? Are you snug great? No, but I'm you're rich as well, right? <laughs> Brock, are you snug great? Nah, I got mine right here, man. No, I'm not. Come on, man. Nah, he's got one. You see the way he's holding on to it, right? <laughs> he's <laughs> caressing it. <laughs> I, I can wait to eat this shit, though. Right? No. I know you can't. Right? <laughs> but you're rich, you're popular, right? So, like, that's like the base now, and now, right? So, right? So, right? So, like, here. Dude, I think that she will get with you if you weren't rich, if you didn't have fame, and you were just destiny, and you met her, you know... In Here's, this is, yeah, the answer is obviously yes. It sucks, okay. and people think it's not real, but the reality is, 
I'm a cool guy. I'm, I think of I'm course. decently handsome, decently funny, decently popular. Yeah. But we lived in fucking L.A. for three years, okay? Yeah. There are better guys than me out here. There are guys that are more attractive, that are taller, that make more money, that have more fame. She could have easily upgraded at any point. Like, if that was all she was after, she would have been gone in, like, three months. So that means she really loved you. Yeah. She was, loved you. I, I hope so, yeah. yeah she, I mean, she's still here. We're right? together for four and a half years. Yeah, she likes Miami right? more. Been Culver City. Of course, yeah, because she likes to go to the beach. She mm. likes the Eastern Time Zone. She likes to like swim a lot and do like outdoor stuff. Right. Um, yeah, she, that's, yeah, that's what I was saying. Cause you can't just stay trapped in the house. I like to hang in the hood with the homeboys. Lily takes likes to go five different mm. places, you know, out by the water and different stuff like that on hood. Can you tell me where? Wait, so when we say like 55th Street and everything, where are you from? Like what area is that? 55th Street, NC between Normandy and Western on hood. I'm a disrespectful Dinker Avenue. They have an alley. Is yeah. that you know, it's a baby here in LA? 55th yeah. Street yeah. Yeah. alley. They have an alley, and basically, alley. it's a dangerous alley. Right? Oh, That's yes. what I get. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's dangerous. It, if you ever look at the geographical shit, normally Dinker Western, it's a dangerous fucking area. Gotcha. You know, at the same time. Uh, you it's know, home. Just, do you ever feel yeah. trapped, like, in that no. area? Do you ever want to, no. like, get out, go no, other places? No, or, no, no, yeah? I'm, I'm never trapped. I'm never trapped, you okay. know. I do see, I, you know, I come around, I see different people, you know, different people from different hoods that fuck with the home voice and shit. And they see me like, you know, I do kind of see like a little envy on hood. I'm like, oh, fuck it on hood. You fight me? Oh, it's just, it's just to, to the point to where, oh, all right, kid, like, yeah, I'm five minutes. I'm, I'm doing my thing on hustlers. Really doing the play ball thing on hustlers. And, Y'all motherfuckers been from the hood years, cuz. They ain't even, ain't even did shit. <laughs> no, Crips. I know y'all a little mad on hood, cuz when Crip Mac come out, cuz come out. You know, I'm a real gangbanger. Gotcha. Do you want to be there? Gangbanger. You want to be there for. And I'm proud of it. No when you're we can tell. Yeah. 60, 70, 80 years old, do you still want to be doing the same I'm thing? I'm still you're... going Crip walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still have my cold beer. Gotcha. I had great grandkids by then, and everybody's sitting on the porch. That's real. Hey, I have I a tell big. Tell them all the war stories with yeah. baby snaps. I have a big announcement, and I can't think of anybody that I would rather announce it. Yeah. To Ooh. than you three. Okay. And okay. also, you have to keep this low key. You can't. You can't spill I got a nice this. Haircut. Hey, you gotta get a haircut, man. You gotta get a haircut. Do I got a nice haircut? You have a beautiful haircut. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Not, it's nifty. On I really her. like the. I like the scene in the back. All right, go let, let, Hold on. Elusive cuts. Elusive cuts. Elusive cuts. Elusive cuts on hood. Elusive motherfucking cuts, Cal. On hood. He's a Samoan. He's a Damu. On hood. Elusive cuts. I need that. Y'all mack in with the Damu? He'll come out and get your hair cut. You need a real nifty cut. You no, know, I'm Samoan and collegiate, so I like to. It can't be that elusive cool. if, if you are if he's easily identifiable if he has a retail location, right? Um, I mean, it's, it's elusive cuts. He does he does great work. Are you ready for this my is, announcement? This is Samoan work. I would like to sh to share this with you. Oh yeah, come on, Cal. All right. And I feel like Destiny might have a perspective on this. But so I've been with my girl for mm -hmm. seven years. We just got married. Mm -hmm. We're not in an open relationship, but from a porn perspective, we shoot with other girls, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no other guys is busting her coochie and asshole. Well, you guessed it. Over the weekend. Oh, no. Something like that happened. She filmed her first ever scene with another man. I oh, knew you was mad. Shit. You I was mean, angry. I, I agreed to it, so I wasn't. But, I, would, but, I say but, angry but, might not be the word. But you was kind of like disappointed a little bit, like you five like cut like cut. That's your sitch. You know, I agreed to it. She gave me a lot of outs on the way in. Like yeah. she kind of kept telling me, like if you don't want me to, I won't do it. You, you should know? have said no. I, I I said that I wanted you her to got do it. I'm like on top of millions of dollars, Adam. You didn't have to do that shit. Fair enough, but I Come I on, told her uh, I'm like I think you should do it. Let's let's get it out right, the way. So how, how do you five about it now? She's 32. Do I need to get you an old English? No, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't need to drown the pain in the okay. old English. Uh, but I was kind of surprised because I feel like I can like intellectualize it, and from my perspective, I don't think it should be a big deal. Yeah. But then after she actually did it, I'm not going to lie, I did feel kind of odd. You oh, know, maybe a little bit of like that feeling in, in the belly, See, you know? You know like, God damn, God damn, like, for real? Yeah. God, like, God oh, damn, like, God oh, like, <laughs> Yo, I can, bro, I can just see now, like, academics live streaming this shit. What about bro? you, yeah. Flacco? You have a woman? Let's stay yeah. on topic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fake. Oh, it, it, when you, your open relationship, you ever have this this sort of thing where, you know, she hooks up with someone else and, like, at first, at least, did it kind of rub you the wrong way? or is? I've actually thought a lot about this because I feel certain types of ways with random girls that I'll meet when they're banging other guys. And you know what I realized? So I'm going to give you a perspective that's super unique, okay. and I don't expect anybody to be able to relate to it. Because our situation is different because you mm -hmm. are in an open relationship. Open, yeah. I'm just in like an open porn, porn relationship. relationship. Yeah. You yeah. Know? 
The way that I feel is the only time I get like jealous of people is when I lose access to somebody. Mm. So for my wife, if she's fucking other dudes, I don't care. I can fuck other girls. That's fine because we still have each other. Mm -hmm. The only time I'll get a little bit jealous is if I'm like, if there's a girl I'm seeing that's like really cool and then she gets a boyfriend and then we can't fuck anymore. That's usually what I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that sucks. But like if so, if people I like are fucking other people, as long as I still fuck them, as long as we still hang out or whatever, I'm usually cool. But it's when I start losing access to people that I'm like, ah, oh, shit. And I start to feel like a little bad about it. I mean, yeah. But I'm yeah. expecting you to say that you're jealous of your girl doing certain things. But no, you're jealous of... When one of your side bitches ends up in well, a it would be. You actually don't fuck homeless men in tents. I was wrong about you. Not usually. Probably. Yeah. No, uh, you mean not usually. Do you do it or you don't? Well, I don't want. I I don't want to principally take it off the table. Maybe yeah. there's a really hot homeless guy out there or something. You know, I don't know, it's man. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck, I'm dead, Kyle. Wow. They're wasteable. He's kind of listening to like uh, he's really slick though, because it's an open relationship. But like his girl says, she only messes with. Other girls, so like no, her, she's she right now really she's in like a girl phase, but she can fuck yeah. other dudes. It's fine, yeah, it's yeah. But it's mm. the, the, like what would bother me is like let's say we have plans or whatever, and she's like, oh no, I'm gonna go hang out with another guy instead. That would probably make me feel okay. a certain type of way. But like generally, like like I'm traveling now, she's traveling now, like we're hanging with people. Snow, yeah, I know because I was playing poker all day the day that she did it. So it was like yeah. that. I was already like locked in to be doing something all day. If she uh -huh. wasn't doing that, she probably would have just been doing some regular like, you know, hanging out with the sure. family type stuff. Yeah. And instead she goes and does the scene with this other guy. And I'm and I'm friends with this guy. I'm cool but with him. But you just Who's said right? you allowed no. to okay. fuck her in the porn industry. You just said it. You was cool with it. On camera yesterday, you, yes. But exactly at the same time. But now you five like in your heart. Yeah. Like, God damn, like, God, like you know, I, but I feel like it's something that it I'm probably going to get. Same, I'm going to progressively get the same, more used it to it, you know, more okay with it. But I'm not going to lie. Like, I ended up actually, like, feeling a little bit more Did emotional you talk turmoil. about it? Like, hey. We've been, you know, we've been talking a lot. I've been telling her how I feel and Yeah, everything. well, just start back doing the girl, girl shit. If, if you five. We're going to keep doing different. that, yeah. Yeah, I see? feel like this is, it actually reminds I, me a lot. I appreciate your honesty with that, Adam. See? No, I wanted you're, to be open with you guys. You're a great man. You're a nifty man. I thought that he would be my <laughs> ideal like person China to Mac talk about saying. it with, and then you were probably number two. <laughs> oh, uh, what are you, you saying? You know, you know Twitch, right? Nope. Twitch chat? There's like a lot of emotes and stuff, and people will say out loud, they'll be like, oh my God, that's so Omega lol. Like they'll like say emotes and stuff, and it's kind of like, and that's like what this is. Five yeah. in your heart, you know, all the, yeah, it's like yeah. the same type of. You would be astounded at the way that he's able to replace <laughs> any number any with I'm five. A real, I'm a real nickel, though. <laughs> and good. the C's instead of B's. Like, 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 you're, like, you're, like you're five in your heart, you know? I kind of understand nickel. what he means. I don't even know how I understand what he means, but I kind of get it. Well, you come know? on, 55th Street, and you, yeah, you, you're five. It. <laughs> I don't know if the blue hair is going to save me there, okay? <laughs> He'll save you or make you a target. Was he, with the elusive guy, will he cut my hair? Yeah, he definitely will. Oh, shit, okay. You want him to cut it? I'll think he about it. Okay. Will. Oh, I just realized you have will. the five shaved in the back. I thought yeah, you had. I, said, yeah. I thought you got a oh, hair transplant was... for a second. No. No. Okay. Five, five. I just got a, got a real, you know, real fresh. What we like about elusive cuts is he travels wherever he, you find me on hoods. And that is yeah. quite elusive. He's just yeah. always on the go. That's why he's got a little truck he drives. Oh around. yeah. But yeah, that it, that it was part of uh, work. you know, the yeah. part of it too was like I sort of realized that, or this is what I said before, and is like I'm not stressed out about the idea of you doing it mm. i felt like at a certain point i was not okay with it just because of the reaction that i know is inevitably about to come and yeah. it's probably taking place in the comments as we speak yeah which wait is this live no, no. Oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> no, but, see, like, this... by the time they're seeing it you know no, right. are you gonna disrespect your wife no of course not <laughs> no but uh if it was live. <laughs> i don't know it's like like now now having done it though it's like i do feel sort of like this Conflicted, yeah, you, a little you bit know, of emotional you, you, yeah, turmoil. Because you don't want to, you don't want to, you got to fight. But if you, you, you love her like you do, right? And then you have five and five her out of your blue heart yeah. on Huster. So you got to look at it like this, come huh? You don't want to have no other man fucking her, having her moaning, cuz, when that's what you got her doing on hood. It's like, cuz, you fight me, cuz. It's, 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 it's not nifty for you on hood. Right, but. So it, stick with the girls though, huh? you deal huh? with. Like, uh, so, and who but, idea was it like to go out and do the and do the solo scene? Well, we've been talking about it for a while because it's like from her perspective, it's been the most in demand thing for like many many years now. Where like obviously like any of her fans, that's like the number one thing that they want to see her do because they've mm -hmm. only seen her shoot with me for all these years. So, yeah. You know. Something that okay. you said that's really important that takes a long time to learn is it's very easy to intellectualize something and mm. think that like you've thought through all of it, but emotionally when the time comes. 
people have a much different feeling about it. Um, this is something that I hear happen all the time with threesomes, mm. where a guy and a girl talk about doing a threesome and they're really excited Make for sure it. Don't spill it on your table. Adam. Appreciate it. But then when the uh, when the girl is watching her boyfriend, husband, or whatever, fuck another girl, emotionally she starts to get a whole set of feelings that she wasn't ready for. Um, that There was no way you could have like thought through it ahead of time. And then me and Melina run into that problem a lot where we'll engage. If I'm talking to girls and stuff, a lot of them will be like, oh yeah, like I'm cool with your open relationship, that's fine or whatever. But then when we start getting closer, all of a sudden they're not as cool with it and then they start to feel... But Melina's you know, always cool with it? Um, We work through stuff. Because <laughs> that was the situation with me and her is that early on when we would have threesomes, she would get... Yeah. angry at times yeah. and be pissed off about yeah, it and stuff but then slowly having done it hundreds of times it just doesn't really like I think what you her. have to do is you have to build up some level of confidence that your partner really loves you and that when they're having sex with other people it's just sex Yeah, and that takes a lot which is it's easier for me to feel that way because it's just porn you know yeah, whereas cool. like if she was just like hanging out with some guy on the weekend sure. that would probably make me feel differently mm. whereas like the whole thing being documented and me knowing that it's for Money and purposes. business and whatever, kind of. You ever doodle like a threesome with you, another guy, and her, and you actually get to sit there and watch it happen? No, you wouldn't. How do you know? Okay, that's your sitch, cuz. <laughs> that's your sitch. <laughs> Lean in the Mac plug is your sitch. I'm not gonna lie though. This is an interesting thing though. Yeah. I'll, I'll come clean. I'm coming clean on everything. Is yeah. that in the very very early days of our relationship yeah. we did do that one time with another dude okay and it was like a party situation it's not anybody that people watching this would know because yeah. i'm sure they're all trying to guess right now yeah, yeah you but, know they are yeah, yeah but yeah. but we did but then once me and her like actually started really dating mm. i was just like no we're not doing that anymore yeah hood. so now you let that happen <laughs> Now you five like oh I cut y'all got the increments on hood but it's like good like oh hood stick with the girl shit y'all was doing I five you on hood that's your sitch cut no man should see fucking your sitch on hood right absolutely uh, <laughs> and also give you some appreciation too for your wife's perspective because she deals with it all mm. the time technically watching you fuck other girls as well right so you right. kind of get some appreciation for her. yeah what a negative see like, <laughs> like hey listen to right because because look. If I was you, I would have said, listen, like, like no niggas, no black guys, you feel me? <laughs> like, fuck, right? You think I should have said that? Because I, I feel like the black guy like, kind of makes it even, like, you know, makes it Bro, that's bigger. so, like, right? I, like, I feel like that's so weird. Worse, I, I kind of like the fact that you are so openly racist yeah. and that you are, and you feel like I should be racist as well. No, wait, I feel though, like when, it, com when it comes to some of these communities, yeah. I legitimately think yeah. if you could choose between a girl... That had fucked five black dudes or <laughs> one dog. What would you choose? I think a lot of Definitely people would dog, opt right? for the German Shepherd fucker. I think they actually would. Because in <laughs> the red pill world, fucking a black guy is like it, it carries like ultimate, such an yeah. undisclosed amount of weight that it just yeah. seems like it's such a heavier thing. Which I don't. I don't feel like that. Yeah, yeah. it's like so fucked up. Yeah. I don't know. I would have probably like suggested you know just fuck like the white guys first and then maybe like upgrade. Not a lot of white guys in porn. I mean, there, right, right, there right, are, right, but right, yeah, right, yeah, right, because I feel like the black guy, black guy, right, is gonna make it like a big thing, right, right, like he's chill though. No, yes, no, but, but the academics probably gonna react to it. Oh my god, black guy, right, right. right? But see, that's yeah. what I'm saying is that when I was thinking about reasons to not do it, I don't think that like academics having a really funny yeah. 30 minutes on stream talking about it. I don't think that that's really like a good reason obstacle. for me to not do it. Yeah, yeah and, and people who really yeah. hate me, that yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, is that really a reason for me to, like, kind of hold my girl back in her career or whatever? I don't know. We I thought about that a lot, too. Like, if me and Melina are having fights, the, the, it sounds so horrible to say, but, like, the first thing I, I think about is, like, if we break up, everybody's going to say, oh, it's because he got mad that she probably fucked some dude with a huge dick, and now he's, like, upset and jealous, and they and he dumped her. Whatever. Like, if we break up, like, everybody's going to have their stories. But is, that's kind of like a dirty feeling when you realize that you're moving off of anticipating what the yeah. public yeah. is going to say about it. Yeah, sure. Wait, though. Like, she's from, like, uh, New Zealand, right? No. Well, she's uh, from Sweden, Sweden but yeah. No. Oh, oh, yeah. So, like, they really don't really, like, like black guys in, in Sweden, right? I, I mean, they... There's just not very many up there. <laughs> yeah. Now, wait. So it, if she came home and said, yo, listen, like, I met a Tyrone at, at the fucking Planet Fitness, and he wants to fuck me, blah, blah, blah. Are you going to say, yeah, cool? I don't give a fuck. That's fine. Damn. Yeah, y'all are, listen, man. Like, y'all are some brave souls, man. Thanks. I wouldn't do it. Sorry. Hmm. Me neither. I'm neighborhood crap. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, would you feel better? I'm so curious. Sure. I'm sorry, hold on. Would you feel better if your girlfriend cheated on you with a white guy? Would that feel better if she cheated on you with a black guy? 
a six foot false, like twenty inch dick Tyrone. Yeah, of course. Like I would feel much, much better if she fucked the, you know, like this white guy. Right but is it, it's about the size of the dick. Uh, no, it's about no. the stereotype. And there's yeah, black men with small dicks. Let's right? just throw that out there. They need to be seen yeah. as well. Not him. He's got a huge one, right. I assume. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, right? It's, like, it's a nifty nickel. You know, it's mm, not the biggest. Mm. But it still busts his assholes. It's 55 and inches long? No, it busts his mm. coochies and assholes hey, open. Man. It's a nifty nickel. <laughs> no, like, it, it feels wrong for me to say, but, you know, it, it, you know, there's like a stench that, right? Like, right? It, it just comes off as you like, say you a know, stench? Did you say a stench? Not a stench, but like, it, it's more so like a, you know, <laughs> that means he did it's say a black stench. marsh. <laughs> Right? It's like a black mark on, like, her, you know. You feel me? Like, you know, right? Like, you got, like, fucking demolished and broken down and got your back broken by, like, a, you know, a six-foot-four Tyrone who probably don't got nothing going for her. But, okay, you feel me? Let's, let's say that she were to have done it with a white guy in yeah. the porn industry. Sure. He would probably be a big, strong white guy with a huge fucking dick that would fuck the shit out of her, right? The same way that the black dude would. Like, if you're if you're a, a famous porn star, you're probably yeah. serving pretty good dick. The fact that you think that him being black is the, yeah. the key factor, when a white guy could maybe have just as big a dick, obviously we know. I, I can't explain exactly my racism. It. I just know that it... Existing. Man, you know what the saddest thing is? I had yeah. two black friends that told me this. The saddest thing is yeah. being a black dude with like an average sized dick, and oh, yeah. you hook up with a girl who's expecting some fucking python monster. See, that's why he lies and says he has a ten incher. I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, and we all allow him this delusion. We should pants him sometime. Jesus, if you didn't work here. <laughs> yeah. If we were just homeboys yeah. on the Fifty Fifth Street yeah. alley, I would pants you so I could find out. <laughs> or pay a porn star <laughs> to see it in the bathroom. No, that's why you're in this fake relationship. Oh no, when no, um no, actually listen. She goes to another school. Yeah. <laughs> you just have a <laughs> no, okay. literally. Wait, he doesn't though, even know. Right? He doesn't even know and he knows. <laughs> no, right? No, wait though, right? So look, so uh Josh actually like thought the same thing. And then I, I caught her and Josh had a photo, you know, a, a couple oh, wait, of are, we, are you proving your girlfriend's existence for people? Bruh. He's had to a few times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, one time I asked him to go to the movies. Wait, wait, wait. How old I asked him to go to the movies with us, and he couldn't go because of his girlfriend. And I was like, whoa. Like, yeah. she's real? Like, okay. She was in town. So, Has anybody seen her in real life? No. I've seen her on FaceTime. Ain't for like nobody two ever seen her in real life. She, like, don't live in, in L.A. North Dakota. Yeah. North Dakota? How right. the fuck you do a long-distance relationship <laughs> with someone in North Dakota? <laughs> yeah. I lived there, and then I moved there, so. Yeah, but she don't live out here. No, no, no. You feel Why me? the fuck you in a relationship? Uh, we are working towards the, you know, like, the bigger feature, right? Yeah, you should have been. Got her out here with you. But he's never busted know. her pussy or asshole open. No, Never. No, man. Not yet. Not so what the fuck are you doing? Uh, we pray a lot. You feel me? Yeah, fuck <laughs> pray. Fuck that prayer. Yeah, man. You feel me? We pray, you know? So Tie you have a nice night. You, fuck that prayer. You, you go to the restaurant. Fuck you come home. Prayer. You're watching a movie. And then you, you get a boner from cuddling over there on the couch. And, and instead, you, you're and like, get, uh, let's, pray. let's pray. Let's pray. You ain't never even seen her, right? Like that. You ain't huh? never seen her. Oh, uh, no. Wait, wait, wait pause. I, I've seen my girl, yes. You ain't never fucked her? No, 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 no. What's up with that, girl? Oh, uh, like she, you know, like she's religious, and I became religious, you know, a year or so after we, you know. We Whoa, her. for her? No, man, you know. I, Is it the same religion as her? No, yeah, red pill. <laughs> no. Wait, so she has a religion, and then you became religious, but you didn't even become her religion? No. So no. she prays to a different god than you. She's Christian, and you're Muslim. Yes. Or is it the other way around? No, it's uh, absolutely that one. She's a Jehovah Witness. Right. I'm what what I am, you know. Yeah. What are? What you? did he say earlier? He didn't drink, right? So no, how man. many religions is that? What? How don't many religions drink, don't allow don't you to smoke, drink? Don't eat pork. Uh, so oh, you are Muslim. Muslim. Absolutely. <laughs> hey man, who knows, right? You should get a picture of Muhammad to see if he attacks you for it. <laughs> you should go on your little Muhammad was a pedophile. Tyre. Oh wait, 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 wait! That's li- bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Before we do this, how do you yeah. feel about Islam? I mean, cut different homeboys, yeah. different gang bangers from different hoods. <laughs> they go by prison, cut. Yeah. Wow. Okay, all right. We're we ask him stuff, and he just like pivots <laughs> to like what no, other I mean, people in his what, life that's think. What, that's what they're gonna do. Yeah. You know? Oh, I mean, they, we're, they, we're not so, denying anybody the right to no, be. No, no, I mean, so. that's how it is. It, it, it just says different they, people roll with different shit. That's cool. Yeah, they go to Muslim cut. That, that, that's them. It's five yeah. inches long. Do you think your girl would be mad if you fuck just pearly things? Me? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really and thought about it. What happened to Pearlito, man? Like, she had, like, a very, like, rising star trajectory. 
and then she just like started talking to like more people and then they just here is here is the two issues with just pearly things okay one is her growth was never as explosive as people thought it was Mm. she hardcore Mm. gamed the shorts algorithm Mm -hmm. okay like that 1.5 million subs that's like 200,000 subs right because if you look at her long form content she struggles to get like I think 150,000 views on a video um, with like over 1.5 million subs on the channel. Yeah. So that's the first up. Secondly, she was growing in kind of the pocket of all of that red pill stuff exploding. Mm-hmm. And now people have kind of, uh, you know, Don't let the hair out, of, uh, let the air out of the tire a little bit. And it's kind of deflating a bit. And so mm-hmm. she's like, she blew up on these shorts and then she's kind of like drifting here. And then all the other red pill stuff is kind of like whatever. And she's just kind of like, because she, in my opinion, not to be mean or rude to her, I don't know if she offers much in terms of her individuality that people would want to stick around for, right? Mm-hmm. Like, as much as I might not like their beliefs, I could understand why people would watch, like, Myron. I know why people watch Fresh and I know why people watch Andrew Tate. <laughs> well, they right? have an enduring fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, yeah, but, like, even as individuals. Even people like Rolo and stuff, I can understand why people are fans of those people. But how many people are fans of Pearl? But do you think that's why Pearl has pivoted to saying, like, the most misogynistic things possible on Twitter? I, she pattern. probably, I think she half believes it too. She's got a lot of dumb no way she believes it, bro. No, no, listen, she's pandering, right? right? I mean, she spent yeah. her whole time talking to these people that believe that like women are trying to divorce all men and blah blah. It wouldn't surprise me if she believed it. Yo, listen, yo, I feel like Pearl was really smart to figure out. You know, there's like a demand for this, right? But that demand has now weaned because of Destiny, which I have a video dropping soon where Destiny single handedly destroyed the the red pill, right? And here's why. How? That's your title, I yes. can imagine. Yes. <laughs> yes, right? And here's why, right? So once Andrew Tate was rising, right, there became a bunch of copycats. And one of those copycats was Sneeko. Now, again, if Sneeko would have risen up to being as big as Andrew Tate, it would have been game over now, right? So Destiny, like, for example, Sneeko was rising, right? And then as soon as he debated destiny he got destroyed now guess what the left hated him and now the right hated him too right now after like sneeko you know like got fucking annihilated right it now became cool to have like a logical more like not really an extremist point of view right now after sneeko there was another like rising star right just probably things and just probably things entire downfall started when she talked to destiny and God made made you know you know you know like looking like she's fucking stupid and a dummy right. So if he killed two rising stars now, and he's like the sole reason why you know you know you know you know like their audience now like feels like being an extremist sucks you know. Okay. Yeah, you know. Now listen, if you don't give me credit for it. Yeah, Craig but, Mac, do you watch any red pill stuff? You watch any online YouTuber people or whatever? Nah, not, I gang bang, bro. Okay. I gang bang. I do my own interviews. I really don't. I really don't go back and forth with the troll ass activities. Nah, man. Okay. I could imagine that no. the red no. pill would not work out for him. No, for I would never look at nothing like that. No. When you say you when you say gangbang, does that I don't know how much you're allowed to talk about or not, but does that imply just like selling drugs or like more No, gang banging means violent putting activity enemies like to other, rest. Okay, yeah. Geez. Okay, but you're gang not doing bang. that on a consistent basis. No, so that's no, in the past, no. right? Yeah, no. Well, well oh, sir, that never happens. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus. I'm a great man. <laughs> I'm a good man. Oh, really? oh, wait, wait, wait. So look, so um, like 1090 Jake just exposed some, like some like cloud chaser, like who's been like. Oh, he's a dick rider. Yeah, he's got he's a, a guy pretending to be his dad. Yeah. yeah, he he he's a dick rider. He might as well just pull his pants down and let everybody just <laughs> fuck him in his ass. But look, my homeboys don't get down like that, so he'll just have to go past the hut on 54th towards Vermont. Mm-hmm. Don't to Fig Street over there in, in they hood, cause they they would do cut in. But pretty much, yeah, cut, cut a clout chaser on hood. That ain't my pops yeah. so neighborhood crap. And he told too, right? Like he's like a federal. Yeah, yeah he, 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 he's a snitch. He, he, yeah, on hood, he better hide with Charleston White. They could fuck each other. There's like he's so big on the internet that there's a guy who kind of sort of looks like him. And... Cut, cut, dude. My 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 <laughs> Lily Cakes, my girl, even said <laughs> yeah. he looked like he looked like an older me. Yeah. It's the eyes, cone, hustus, and uh, how the face is. Is he Samoan? 
No, I'm Samoan and Kalijian. Yeah. Come from far, far the fuck down south. Yeah. We just got the same eyes. We don't have the same square head nah, shape nah, or nah, nothing. Nah, nah, nah. It's the eyes don't come hood. Yeah. And people around the world look at that like, oh yeah, that's Cub Pops. Mm -hmm. And then Cub was able to scam my mother into doing a video of her in Vegas. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, see, you remember that? Oh, the video? Really? With Mama Bear. You gotta look at it. The video with Mama Bear, that's what made the world think, oh yeah, Cub, that's Cub Pops. Oh, he's scared Mama doing like a video with him. Oh, that nigga cold, bro. Wait, bro. wait, wait, Scam like cut, cut, clout, chase. <laughs> oh, that's a... He got, he got fame now. Oh, he, yeah. Wait, he didn't tell your mom that he was pretending to be your dad no. for the video. Hey, he pretty much just said he, he, you know, he just wanted to, you know, go out and eat and do this and that. You know, pretty. Much, there was never nothing she, about scam. Okay. Oh, so he just like approached her. He didn't like pretend to be somebody or mm. whatever. Right? See, Mama Bear is a nice woman. Okay. Yeah. She's a very nice woman. Very right. Nice. Mama Bear, and let's keep it 55th Street. You know, Hustlers, Mama Bear got millions. Tiny Hardhead FIP. Really? Ma yeah. When I say on Tiny Hardhead FIP, I mean it. <laughs> Why the fuck would he say that if he oh, wouldn't Hustas, mean it? Oh, Hustlers, you find yeah. me? But oh, Mama man. Bear, she, Rich. she's nice. You see what I'm saying? And she's real cool, and she helps different people she can help. At the same time, some people can get over on her, and I'm, I'm trying to stop it. Uh-huh. I got even, you know, keep it 50 50. I got close aunties and shit out there with her that trying to get over on her. All right, okay, you know what? We've got common ground here. What? You got, we got man. common ground. Trying to get over on Somebody, you? um, so this is so mean. I, this is actually one of the most things that I don't like to say this publicly, but it made me very upset because I don't like to let people know what bothers me. Mm. Some motherfucker contacted my mom saying they were doing a documentary on me to try to get like baby pictures and stuff of me so that they could post it on like a doc oh, site. Wow. Yeah. And now, what like, personally, fuck? like, people dox me all the time. I don't give a fuck about that. But it's the idea that some asshole, my mom was probably really excited talking to some dudes. and like, oh, yeah, here's my son. I'm so proud of him, blah, blah, blah. And it was just some asshole trying to get fucking pictures of me. Wow. How oh, horrible. he was definitely going to scam the whole page and get rich off you. Well, baby I don't, my pictures. Parents, don't nobody have baby pictures. Well, they, it, I live in a different, online, right? they like to fuck with us that way. But, like, because my mom does have a lot of money to steal from, basically. But, <sighs> but yeah, no, that was really fucked up. That really irritated That's me. That's some yeah, shit. Also, I don't care if anybody sees my baby pictures for the record. Sure. I, I don't do, care right? about that. I just don't like the idea that some guy, some asshole is talking to my mom, like getting her all hyped up on something. And then I'm going to tell my mom if anyone ever calls and says they're doing <laughs> some sort of documentary about me, do not talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. And wait, and like, who was it? I, I'll never know. Some guy, they uploaded my shit. It was just somebody trying to dox me, get more information. A troll? Yep. yep. A troll. Fucking There's a trolls. lot of trolls on the internet. Here's my There's question. Trolls ever yeah. got in contact with you, sir? Nah, I mean, not yet. Trolls like to contact me. Everyone he speaks they, to on the internet is a troll. They say I'm, I'm, I'm falling <laughs> off in life. Let me let me ask you this: Do you support the police? <laughs> no, uh, not okay. at all. That's what I thought. Destiny recently donated twenty five thousand dollars to the Atlanta whoa, Police whoa, whoa. Department. <laughs> Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. Why would you tell him? I just wanted to know, like you know, let's, it let's wasn't talk the about LAPD, it. LAPD. It was Atlanta. It was, way it was in Atlanta. Country. No, don't do nothing. They're like worse that. though, right? Like Atlanta PD, like is 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 is, is like responsible for like two like police brutality definitely. Well, he Listen, wanted was, to make I, sure I that young folks' <laughs> case goes it. along smoothly. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I earmarked it to the Crime Stoppers. Okay, so people can call. No, it was for Cop City. No, it was for crime stuff. So <laughs> what what happened that led to you donating this money to the yeah. to the cops? So there's some asshole online called FD Signifier. Who I'm a fan of and I, I You're a fan of? Well, I like his videos, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Horrible. So no, I just guy, watched uh, the face of black conservatism hey, or something. You know yeah. what I watched? That's pretty good. Hey, the first fifty five. You ever watched that? I don't think so. You need to check it out. <laughs> first fifty five is a crime shit down south, uh, mm -hmm. on Hustle. Why why do you hate him? Oh, no, you not, not me, <laughs> no. No, not you. No, 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 no. Not, not, oh, not. FD not, signifier. Not, wow. not, not, what not, was not, your initial beef with them? Calm down on the pronoun. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. stress. <laughs> yeah, FD signifier. Not you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. So I'm like suspect. He was about to. Okay. about to wolf you. Um. No, I just he just he talks a lot of shit. He says I'm like a Nazi, far right, blah 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 blah. Oh, okay. blah. So he too, yeah. anytime I go to talk to some new person, he always he like messages them first, like don't talk to Destiny, okay? That guy's no good. He'll blah blah. blah. It's just weird. Mm. And so I was like, we should have a debate. And he's like, oh well, <laughs> if you want to debate me, you have to donate twenty five thousand dollars to some organization I work for. And I'm like, well, who, for, who the fuck are you? Why? How mm. about I'll do it for ten thousand mm. dollars? And then he was like, and he took. He, he had to unblock so me on Twitter. So he scammed you. He scammed the shit out well, of you. Well, listen no, how no, this no. plays out. 
he unblocks me on Twitter and he says, okay, I unblocked you, DM me, and then we can set our debate up. And then apparently he reblocks me in like 12 hours. So I didn't have time to donate to anything. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, so he's got like an anti-cop organization in Georgia, I think that's based out of Atlanta. And he was like, well, I'm going to reblock him because he was just bullshitting. And I was like, okay, well, if you don't want my $10,000, I'll give it to the police. <laughs> <laughs> I just I donated to the Atlanta police. Why basically. would yeah. you get your money for the Johnnies, huh? Because I was being spiteful. You can't get your money by the Johnnies. <laughs> I gave it to the Johnnies just you to can't fuck with give, that guy. No, bro, you should, <laughs> just shouldn't do nothing like that. Sometimes you got to troll, you know? No, you, no. <laughs> yeah, you don't do nothing like that. Look. Right. The hair, though. So but He supports the cops. Well, hair, right? Sometimes. Is, it, sometimes, is there anything yeah. about the Atlanta Police Department in particular that you're a fan of? I mean, they're really cracking down on all these rappers, right? All these gangbanging rappers. Jesus Christ. I'm yeah. just saying. Only thing great <laughs> about the Atlanta, because how Atlanta is, uh, the police is, yeah. maybe they arrest all the trannies and get them off the streets. Huh? Well, there are a lot of them out there. Yeah. Well, well, guess what? He hates trannies, too, though. No, that is not true. <laughs> oh, you love them. <laughs> he hates them. I am. Yeah, I'm I'm, I have the college blue hair. No, he hates trannies. Don't worry. No, he hates I love trans people. He loves them. I hate him, right? He loves I want fourteen year olds to be <laughs> trans people, okay? I'm all about trans and the kids and everything, all right? Do you see that video? We're well, coming I, for I, your children. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, look, hey, you look at it like this, yeah. cuz five each your song, cuz we see it a lot with the transgenders and all that. We'll say five each your song on Hustlers. As long mm -hmm. as some motherfucker is not a pedophile or raping kids or doing weird shit like that. I'll, so, I, you know, I, I take that comic cat on hood. Five each your song, cut. That's how you get down hood. That's how you get down. I'm a hustler. That's not my get down on hood. Five each no. your song, hood. As, as on, a hood. Person, man. on hood. On not, hood. On hood. I, wait, though, right? So, look, hey, right? So, like, I, I, like, I, I like DM you like, Destiny, no, tell me this is not true. But then I got really upset when I found out that ABBA, do, like, donated. <laughs> right? Because, cause, listen, because, look, because he's white. Th that's cool. But then I found out that Abba did not donate. I said, okay. I mean, that is a lot of money to just pull off a successful <laughs> yeah, troll I, 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 on I, I, some guy that you don't even know. That I, you know, just, I felt yeah. really bad because they started emailing me like, hey, we really appreciate donations. There's nothing we can do for you. And I had to respond back. I was like, I was really just fucking with some people online. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Like, I asked if I could do a ride along and stream it because that would be interesting. But they're like, we don't do that. I'm like, well, fuck you. Yeah. And stream it. Too. The problem, but yeah, Abba's if you problem. You stream with the Atlanta police. They're gonna put you in jail. Maybe. Oh, right. they, he's they, a law-abiding they, they citizen. Will. <laughs> he doesn't break the law. You don't break well, the law. Some no, laws. I don't think. Just boring. I like drug laws. Okay. Yeah. He, he the perks, the shrooms. Do a lot of drugs. Yeah. Yeah. You know. What I drugs. Say, I don't fuck just with like drugs. Cause. Old English. Oh, well, good for you. That's good. Old English is not a drug, fool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. No, it's not. I agree. It's not a drug. Yeah. Seven point five percent alcohol. It's just alcohol. Yeah. No, Abba's problem? The problem with Abba was, for the thing that FD City Fire does, is everybody that disagrees with him, he calls yeah. an Uncle Tom. And then he oh, was not doing an that Uncle to, Tom. Yeah, that's what no. FD was calling all of oh, my God black damn. fans. At, and yeah. that's what triggered the fuck out of Abba. Because like, just because I don't Tom. agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, here, so I, I don't think that Abba is an Uncle Tom. Now, if Abba would have donated, though, that would have been some Uncle Tom territory. Okay. You feel me? So but, a white guy can? So you don't have a problem with him doing it, but a black guy doing it? Um... I've always said, right, like, in terms of this, like, harmonious, we all live together and be cool shit, that has to come to an end at some point, right? Like, right, like, like for example, in 60, 70 years, right, I feel like race relations will, like, get to a point where there, like, there has to be a divide, right? Wait, why? Because I just don't feel like where things is headed, like, white people and well, can black we, folks. can we, like, turn it around? I think... It's too late, right? Are there white guys on 55th Street? Or is it all black guys? White guys on... I don't, no, we, no I don't think there's any. Very you small know, percent. Is it 5%? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me go ahead and ask Big Lowdown and Big Whack Wiz. Okay. And, and No Good and Sandman, the older homeboys from the hood. I, I don't... It probably is. Yeah. Secret. They just get in their no. car, go to work, come back home? <laughs> no, they, 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 they probably just grind. Keep a low profile. Rats, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sure we probably got at least maybe five on hood. Oh wait, uh, what like five like five white guys? White guys. Oh, oh, oh shit! If okay. there are white guys on 55th Street, we should be able to figure our shit out on YouTube. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> We should be able Listen, to figure no. shit out on YouTube, right? I, I, I like. We wish. don't know yet. I haven't asked. Okay. Yeah, I haven't okay. asked if, them yet. If there are no yeah. white guys on 55th Street, also Little Grease, then maybe we're LG. heading towards the race wars. Them. Maybe Armageddon is coming. Them. Okay. I don't know. Listen, no. I wish that we figure it out, but I know that that's not likely. So, like, 
in 70 years, we probably will separate right now. No. Separate? Yeah, of course. Why Why what in 70 years? I feel like in 70 years, yeah. that's a lot of time to, to mend these wounds, right? Don't you think the races will probably be getting a lot along better in 70 years? I feel like so niggas probably want, time. like, one million each for, like, reparations. And if they don't get it, like, they'll still, like, make up reasons why they're oppressed, right? Didn't what they, what wait, percentage didn't they of black that? people are talking about didn't that? Didn't they approve that in California? Aren't they doing, I, like, reparations or something? there was, like, a board that approved the idea of it, but it's never going to get approved by the, by the governor, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. From what I heard. How do you yeah. feel about reparations? What's that mean, Kyle? Basically, the government would give black people money in exchange for what happened with slavery at some point. I mean, that's something nifty in the hood. Something nifty. Bible. Okay. Free money. Yeah. We'll hey, listen empty. though. It's 200000 per person. And I, Which is I a heard. crazy number. Which is like, listen, if they give in every black person in this country 200 k I mean, listen. <laughs> but listen, you are not an FBA, so there's no chance in hell that you're getting it. Well, well. That's why you feel comfortable well, wait, wait, what does FBA stand for? Foundational Black American. Well, hey, wait, though. Wait, are you an immigrant? Yes. yes. He's from Africa. Oh, my yeah, right? God. Wait, I the didn't butter. know this uh, the you, whole you know time. time. You from Africa? Uh, yeah. Shout out to all the great Africans mm -hmm. out, <laughs> out there. On who. Yeah, though. I have a loophole, though, right? Okay. I'm Liberian, and Liberians were free slaves, so hence I have ancestry that went through slavery, so hence I deserve, deserve to, to be paid. Has Tariq uh, weighed in on this? Um, and, and Tariq said that if one of your parents have ancestry that goes to cattle slavery, then you are, you know, like qualified. So, Do you know who Tariq Nasheed is? Yeah. I don't know what that is, cuz. Can you tell me? Crazy online guy. All right. uh, he's like... Great American. Yeah, right? Great foundational black Yo, American. Yo, bro. I, I was dying to get you and, and Tariq to talk, but then like Tariq kind of like categorizes you and Nick Fuentes in the same group. Suspected hey. white supremacist. <laughs> yeah, well, because we're white. Mm. <laughs> he says, gives me a pass. I, I never talked to them. He likes me. Yeah, man. And I, I reached out like recently too, like to get like the fourth installment of our interview, right? Because okay. I, I, I feel like we did three so far, right? You know, at least two, maybe five. Yeah, right. So, right. So, yeah, right. No, yeah, no. But yeah, I, I do qualify since I'm a librarian. Well, that's good to know. Is there anything mm -hmm. else that we should uh, yeah. cover? As long uh, as we're yeah, all here man. together. Yeah, listen. Um, let's talk about this. So, what was your reaction to just probably things and Ethan debate? Because, because I'll be real, I hate Ethan, but that was like the first time where I, I'm like, yeah, you know? it was really bad. She doesn't seem to understand anything that she talks about. Okay. Like okay, so like, where do things go from here for Pearl? Though, because she moved back to the the like U.S., she moved back into her parents' home. Do you think the money is now drying up, or do you feel like she's just you know? I think the whole red pill movement is kind of waiting. I think a lot of it is waiting on the Andrew Tate stuff because people don't know uh, what's going to happen with that, and then red pillars are trying to find their footing without like Andrew Tate to guide them. I always yeah. I said before I feel like Fresh and Fit are kind of like the de facto like leaders of the red pill now. Yeah, and yeah. they hit that one week suspension mm -hmm. um, over the uh, ABBA and Preach stuff. So who knows? We'll see where they go. What they got hit for like harassment or something? Well, yeah, because they yeah. Could, they did like a big stream like attacking Abba and Preach basically. Yeah, that was some wild shit though, man. Like here, right? Because Myron is African, right? But was he was rocking like a, a clan hood yeah. or something? Yeah. yeah, right. Right now, listen. If he was a black American, then he could probably get away with that, right? But you being an African and an Arab, you really, right? Like, you really can't rock the, you know, like, the, like, clan stuff because we don't know if you're really racist or not, right? Black guy rocking think, a clan hood. No, he's not wild. black. He's I don't think right, any yeah. black guy could have got away with that. That was yes, wild can. shit. No, listen, look, though. If, 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 if uh, Core Ward or Me Ward, right? Uh huh. I could maybe get away with it, right? Because you know, I, I, I come off as kind of like as like FBA passing. Right? I mean, if it came <laughs> off as like a joke, then maybe you could get away with it more than like if if he wore it in the context of them going yeah. in on Abba, right? And even as a joke, he's an A rap, so it's kind of like you really can't get away with it, right? Right? Because you know, because you're not really like a black man, right? So it's kind of like I just felt like that was you know like kind of fucked up, but I still personally support Myron, you know. But yeah, you know, you know, yeah, I support okay. Pearl and Myron, but. You Wait, wait. They, they wait, can make Pearl. bad decisions, right? No, man. I, here, no. So, like, Myron is actually smart and has, like, and he actually knows what he's talking about, right? And has substance. He does. Pearl comes off as she's sorely grifting, don't know what she's talking about, don't believe what she's talking about, and she's just here for pure content, right? Mm. And I just don't see Pearl still being here in two years. 
See, the, the thing is, is that my girl looks at Twitter from time to time, not anywhere near as much as me, and she, she looks at the For You tab, and she sees Pearl saying the craziest shit ever, and she doesn't know anything about Pearl, and she'll just say, like, why is your friend saying this? It's just constant, like, <laughs> yeah, every day. Yeah. And it's the, insane. The it's for not you every day. It's like feed, every two hours. It feeds me you and her arguing and quote tweeting each other, like, uh, to an unprecedented degree. That's dumb. I just don't understand, right? Because, listen, because Pearl, bro, it'll be easy for Pearl to just be moderate, just interview people, right, and just live on those morals. But to try to be this super, ex like, for example, like, women shouldn't vote. Like, like how do you time. even justify Do you that? think women so, should vote? Yeah, women should vote. They, See? They should. They there should. you go. Thank you, Crip uh, We got to look at it like this. Uh, women, like Mama Bear, Granny Bear, Lily Cash, different women around the world, all types of women, mm -hmm. they should, yeah, they should definitely have the choice five vote on different things in life. Facts, man. On who? Yeah. Now, hey, now we have to like, talk about this, right? So, Andrew Tate. Now, first of all, people like, think that like you were... Going, like, okay, so, like, you were, like, being swayed by Tristan Tate kind of having interactions with you, right? Like, I, I think you told him, hey, listen, man, you know, like, whether you are guilty or not, like, good luck, right? I said the same shit the whole time. Let it play out in court. See what happens. If everything, I've said the same thing. If everything yeah. they've said in YouTube videos is true, they're guilty as fuck. But maybe they lied about it. Maybe they hyped it up. You know, maybe the court can't prove it, so let them have their day in court. I've said, I said that on Pearl's show. I've said that, yeah, because yeah, it's the whole time, man. Well, here, right, here, right. But you said, though, like, they're obviously guilty, right? If, so, that, like, if, yeah. if I always qualify, yeah, yeah. if what they've said in their videos is true, they're obviously guilty. He talks about pimping. He talks about trafficking. He talks about stealing ah. money from the girls' workshop. If everything, like, they, they've laid out everything. If yeah. what he says on YouTube is true, 100% sex trafficker. But maybe they lie in their videos. That's always a possibility. And how much of that, though, do you feel like, again, like, how likely do you feel... Yo, he was just satire. He was just, you no, know. I feel I feel pretty bullshit. strong that it's probably true. But I mean, I could be wrong. Like, there's always a chance, right? But what is so wrong about him just creating a fucking house full of webcam girls? That's like the the most. If you tell thing a girl in that. another country, right, that, I the love lover you. boy method, I right, love yeah, yeah, you yeah. so much. Come to this country, be mine. We're gonna be together forever. She goes to that country. Mm. You introduce her to another one of your girlfriends. You lie about who that girl is. You get your other girlfriend to convince her to start doing sex work. And then you steal from her taxes while she works for you, along with 50 other girls you've done the same shit to. Is that's that not what you're nifty. Doing? That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what no. you're doing? Um, that's whether you say, yeah. People can say whether they like it or don't like it or whether it should be okay or not be okay, but it's illegal. That is sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. like, like de facto yeah, criminal that's, code. That's Custer shit on who? True. Yeah. Isn't, wait, wait the hair, right? But like, okay, so so like, I, here, I, I feel though like uh, there's more of an argument for fraud, right? Because like, you no, know, no, 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 no. Yeah. If you commit fraud yeah. while getting somebody to sell sex work, yeah. that is sex trafficking. Oh, One shit. of the parts of sex trafficking is by coercion or deception yeah. or fraud, right? Yeah. So yeah. that that is yeah. If you lie to somebody, come down here, marry me, be my one and only forever, and then mm -hmm. when you get them down there, you start having them cam. Yeah, that's trafficking. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, like in terms of like the bank stuff, the fraud stuff, I, I feel like. You know, he he has almost certainly bypassed, you know, right? Why would you have it in your heart to scam somebody like that? Especially women. I mean, women should, I mean, come on now, bro. Why would you have it in your heart to scam somebody like that? Do you guys talk about, do you know who Andrew Tate is? Do you like follow any of that shit at all or no? I don't know. Snooka is. Tell yeah. me. It's a fucking <laughs> random... Popular guy online who's you, yeah, but you don't know. I don't know yeah, all this. It would take a lot to explain it to you. Cut not Adam Mac, Crip Mac, leading the plug Mac, Parker Mac, don't look anybody like that. That's my family, know. but with Mac yeah, exactly. as well. Yeah, cool. I don't at all. I don't know. Lean of the plug you, Mac, not lean of the Mac. Yeah. When you come back to, I'm curious. When you come back to these shows, like, what is your when you come here to chat? Is it like just for fun, or do you like try to get your message out, or like is no, it no, yeah, no, just like I, hanging out I, with people? I, yeah. I answer the questions fairly. Keep it fifty five. Okay. 100%. Mm -hmm. At the same time, what, uh, you know, and just let the world know, okay? That's crap. Nah, that's, that's a fact. Crap. Wait, what do you think about, like, the theory, though, right, that, like, Andrew Tate's father was a part of, like, CIA, so now... Never, I don't care. If I don't see evidence for it, I don't give a fuck about people's conjectures and theories. He said it, though. Right? Oh, okay. Right? That, like, m my dad was CIA, right? So... Now he comes out of nowhere and he's speaking against like the Matrix, but his father was CIA, right? So, 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 right? So, here, right? Here, Different right? Matrix. 
Yeah. I don't think the Matrix that he's complaining about would necessarily be all that influenced by the CIA, right? Yeah, and also, like, the CIA, it there's, would, like, right? a ton of people that can, like, work in intelligence and stuff. And it's not like these people think that, like, if you work for the CIA, you're either, like, Jason Bourne or you're the guy on the phone with them. Like, there's a lot of people that are just, like, random analysts. People think that, that because my dad was an unpaid volunteer for Bill Clinton for a couple of years <laughs> in the early 90s <laughs> well, that I'm Illuminati. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, like, that's dumb, though, right? But, though, and he claims his dad was, like, uh, a higher up, like, a... A spy who job was to like translate because his dad like spoke like twenty different languages, right? So he would like translate different shit for like the U.S. government, which is you know, hey, right? But I, back with time, is it? Yeah. I think it's about time to yeah. skedaddle. Oh, one more question though. Okay, on five. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let's. Fifty fifth right. Street. What's your beef with MLD, man? He's just a fucking loser. Every sense of the word. Hey, riding your back cut. What could I do? Call him a custer. The problem is, yeah, this custer. Okay, mm. with this guy. Is, is you see the way he dropped that? Jesus. Is, that was nice. is he a snitch? What is he? Worse than that, okay? This what? guy, he, he works on self-improvement for men. He's not worse than a snitch, okay? He tells men they need to self-improve. He constantly shit on women for being fat or whatever. And then it comes out that this motherfucker has hair plugs, fake teeth, and liposuction. <laughs> oh, God. I only have one of those. What a fake hair! Yeah, L- listen. <laughs> and then he's just—he's a bitch. Like he—he'll go on these shows, and then when people are confronting him, like, "Hey, did you call this woman fat?" He's like, "I didn't say anything. I don't know. I don't remember that." I don't. But then yeah. when he gets on other shows with guys, like, "Yeah, I called that bitch fat to her face." <laughs> mm. I'm like, "You didn't say shit when you were over there. What are you talking oh, so about?" Oh, he's a milk seven four. Absolutely, milk seven four. If I ever saw. Oh no! Oh no! 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 A milf to make make like ten videos going at you. Don't even, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, my bad. Oh yeah, uh, he'll be all right. Hey, He's not he, even on his radar. He doesn't get enough views hey, for Destiny hey. to give a shit. Hey, he might hurt your feelings. He hurts okay. a lot of people's feelings. He on the calcony. Yours. You ever hurt yours? Can't hurt my feelings, kid. I, I'm already a gangbanger, kid. If he comes at me, I'll go find hey, look, elusive look, and I'll I'm get already, fifty-five I'm, up, look, okay? I'm, all, I'm already a gangbanger, kid. I already do what I do on hood with this gangbanger shit. The homeboys, my enemies, cut inactive. I'm not worried about cut. I'm worried about them niggas in the streets. I'm gonna smack them down. Mm. Tiny mm. R head FIP. I'm a real five miss gang banger. That's real. Oh, tiny R head FIP. All right. Well, I did it. I, I successfully brought Crim Mac and Destiny together. Yeah, man. Let's do it. We on hood. Cut. You're not so much of a custer no more. I'll let you keep your blue shirt and your blue hair because I wanted that shit that, that goes uh, orange or pink. Well, thanks, but man. I'm you, glad you I could earn the you blue. Didn't, you didn't say much about um, of, 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 of fucking men, so I'm like, oh, I could not. <laughs> I, that's the whole thing. I'm like, cut, like, here's what. But I'm like, hold on, cut, cut. I got a woman, this and that, cut on the hood. I'm on the hood. Yeah, man. It's like, you don't have to wear side side like, wow. orange or pink hair. You're all right, sir. Thanks a lot. No. Oh, what? How did Five you forgive Sneaker? How did I what? Forgive Sneeko. I gotta, I'm too soft. If somebody legitimately comes to me and they're like, listen, I fucked up, like, and I'm like, all right, fuck it, fine, we'll try again. I got Sneeko later today. Again. Oh, shit, that's crazy. Wow. Oh, dude. You- With Rolo? No. No. Oh, dude, no. you got a busy day, okay. Rolo made sure, hey, he said, hey, he could DM me and said, I hope you are not planning to ambush me with Destiny. I said no, bro. You feel me? No, I'm not. I'm not. If Destiny gonna be here, you feel me? Like you know, like way early. I know. Hey, like, Franco. Remember, yeah. elusive cuts from the Samoan Damu. Yes, sir. We didn't cut that shit off for me and you. We gonna go in the baby snaps alley. Not in fact. Listen, that though. shit is raggedy as a soon, motherfucker. Though. No, you look at mine. Cut look my Friday. Shit. Cut. You feel me? Friday, elusive cuts. Yeah, right. The Samoans gonna cut your hair. Yeah, right, because I'll be off on Friday. Right, so. yeah. There's a, a yeah. children's haircut place near my house called Bubble Cuts. <laughs> Yo. It was like, uh, it's, 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 bu- cuts. is the joke that it sounds like shit. bubble guts? Yeah. A oh, bubble cut. Like when you have diarrhea? Yeah. Bubble Listen. guts? I've heard bubble butts. I've never heard bubble guts. Bubble guts is yeah, when your guts. stomach is and growling. Well, it's blown and out and shot out like boom, mm. bam, 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 bam. Five mm. shots on wood past the 50th Street. He said mm-hmm. it. Right. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who watched this. Good, no job oh. or coolest podcast in the world. Oh, Shout out to Crip Mac. podcast and in Destiny the world. Flacco brought to you by the color blue. Just like Reading Rainbow said. Yes, sir. Let's go.